breakout skill that we'll be working on is the shear lashing. This is one of the required advancement lashings and hopefully something you'll find to be useful in your daily life. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a clove hitch. You may recall from my demonstration, we're going to start with a crossing round turn, bring it around, pass it under the X so that we have a nice clove hitch to start. Okay. Now the shear lashing is used when we want to connect two poles that we can then wiggle back and forth and separate. So we're going to do this for with two poles today, so that's the definition of a shear lashing. However, we can also do this with three poles to make a tripod lashing. So as you can see, I've got my two poles, they're nice and close together. I've got my clove hitch. Now what I should do is I'm going to take the ends of my clove hitch and I'm going to sort of twist them together, okay, which allows me to anchor my clove hitch um, so it won't pull out no matter how hard I might pull on these um, two um, poles, uh, on this rope. So now, having wrapped those around, I'm going to wrap it around the other post, okay, and then I'm going to start to alternate, okay, I'm going to do, basically, I'm going to form a figure eight between my posts. Okay? This process is called wrapping, okay, so as you can see, I'm going back and forth between my two posts, and I'm trying to keep my wraps nice and close together. Okay. So I keep doing this, going back and forth, and I want my wraps, so I want this distance right here to be about the same as this distance right here. So it's going to actually make sort of a squarish shape. Okay, that to me, that looks like we're about doubled up right there. So now I'm going to, this time when I come through between my, uh, my, rather than continuing to wrap, I'm going to do what's called frapping. And frapping is where I wrap around the rope, but not around the posts. So you can see I bring my rope down, I put it between my two posts, I pull it nice and snug, I bring it up through my two posts, down through my two posts again, okay? So I'm going to do this twice. So I've got this many wraps and two fraps, okay? It's not like you get at Starbucks. These are fraps. Okay, and then you're going to pull this nice and tight because it's your fraps that help hold all of this together. And then your last step is you're going to do a clove hitch. And remember, in my other video, I indicated it was really important um, to be able to tie the clove hitch just like this. So I'm going to go around. And look, I'm going to make that crossing round turn just like I did before. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my working end right here underneath my X. See, it came through right here. And this is really important. Don't let it get loose, okay? See, I don't want a bunch of loosey-goosey in here. I want this to pull through, and I'm going to work my slack through, my, through in between all of my knots until this is also nice and tight, okay? There it is. And watch this, look, I have the ability to separate this so that I can make an A-frame. See, if I put some posts across the bottom, I can make a nice strong A shape. Or as I mentioned before, I can use this to, um, uh, you know, with a third post to make a tripod. So my third post would then um, extend through here to support my two posts. So thank you for joining me today for the sheer lashing.